Watch your hands. Come here. As the orders come in all at once, Laura, the kitchen porter, is commandeered as sous chef. One spring rolls, one smoked roll. Spring rolls, side of eight, side of an inch. Patria spring rolls are by far the most popular choice of starter. Enjoy your starter. One more spring roll now, please. I've got another three spring rolls left. After this one, only three spring rolls left. Table three, oi! Table three. Half an hour gone. Um, are, you, are you served four tables? Hold on a minute. Look, come here. Somebody didn't listen to me. I haven't got any more. I don't have enough spring rolls. I told you I don't have spring rolls for table two and table four. Just go and apologize to them, ask them to do something else now. Now they're selling food they haven't got. She's run out of spring rolls. They told them that 15 minutes ago, but no one's listening to her. And the food's coming out, and it looks immaculate. Customers are happy with the food, but it's about to go tits up. We waited quite a long time for our starters to come out. And when it came, it's amazing. Really, really good food. So we can't really fault the food at all. It's just. I think it's the actual volume of people who are arriving at once, maybe putting a bit too much pressure on the kitchen. Table seven! I apologise, madame. Sorry. We are late. Don't ask. No. Put it here. Leave it there. In the chaos, dishes have been sent out before they're even finished. Where is the prawn? Where? Young, young me said. Fuck it. The prawn is not finished yet, excuse me. Yeah, it's not ready yet. Lola. Lola, don't do it again, OK? I feel much safer on the fucking bus than I do in there. Um, so sad, we're halfway through, there's an hour to go, and she's only got two main courses out, so she has to keep it together. She can't talk, she's getting frustrated, and she's getting flustered. And it's such a shame, cos when the food arrives, the diners love it. So far, the service is nothing short of disastrous. But at least Patria's food is amazing. It looks fantastic. Simply Thai. This has gone fancy Thai. No, it's simple. Table one. That's more complex than my food. Oh, my God, that's delicious. That's good. You seem to have got some rhythm going out now. Main courses are flying out. Table two, concentrate. Don't make mistake, please. Please. Table two. Patria finally seems to be settling down, and there's some semblance of order. I had the chicken penang for the main course. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. It's a shame about the weight, but the food and the flavours for me was absolutely delicious. If she can sort out the front of house service and maybe get somebody else in the kitchen, then I think this restaurant will definitely go places. Right. Well done. You finished. And you finished with just over yeah. five minutes to go. Five minutes to go. Oh, that's brilliant. Well done. I thought I was going to collapse in the middle of the night. No, no, we're not going to make it. I, I said at one point, I said in my mind, you know, in my head, no, we're not going to make it, we're not going to make it, we're not going to make it. You did a really good job, and I'm very and proud. Really, yeah. well, thank you very much. I'm really proud. Well done. Thank you. Uh, uh, uh. I've done at the top of my ability today, and, um, you know, and I've got through it. The big difference across all the semi-finals is that every other restaurant has cooked for 30 customers. This is fully booked for her. They've all got 60, 70, 80, 90 seats. She never does 30 covers. So not only has she managed to do 30 covers within two hours, she's done it single-handedly. Well done.